and welcome back. I've just had a sleep because I'm old and we're coming back and let's do some cutting. So let's cut along with Rory. Um, so if you haven't got a sword and buckler, you don't need to use a sword and buckler. Um, you can use your hands, both hands. So you, you can you pretend you've got a buckler, pretend you've got a sword. So you can do all these cuts and the movements just with your hands. You can throw some movements in and practice moving backwards and forwards. So you don't need a sword and buckler. And you can do this safely in your kitchen or wherever. Um, but if you do have a sword and buckler, it makes it a little bit more interesting. So let's start off, let's start off in Kundalunga Estaleta. Buckler out, sword pointed at your opponent. So let's just do some, I'll do this very slowly, a mandolito and a reverso. Make the big shape, down and back round. Down and back round. Down and back round. And notice how I'm turning my buckler over covering my hand to come back down the other way. Bang, bang. Ideally try and get these nice, Vertical lines, or well, not vertical, they're nearly vertical, they're diagonal. Should be going from shoulder to hip, shoulder to opposite hip, shoulder to opposite hip. Bang, 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 bang. Work on your buckler position. Don't forget, the buckler needs to be where it needs to be. So, mandrito, reverso, big cuts. We can narrow these down to almost stramazone-like cuts. We can add a little step in if you want. Bang. And don't forget, when we do a reverso, we are turning and rotating our bodies this way. When we do a mangetto, we're rotating this way. So I can be right leg forward and throw a reverso, but my hips and my back foot have to turn. When I throw a mandolito, everything should turn. Hips, shoulders, bang, bang. So if you look at my shoulders, do a mandolito, my shoulders are almost 45, reverso, back round are almost square. So mandolito, reverso. Let's try another one. Let's go to Kodalunga Elaga. Buckler out. We're going to scoop up and do a mandolito redopio. So it's a rising cut with the true edge diagonally. And a reverso redopio. Going into Becca Sessa or guard it out of the corner. One, two. Give those a couple of practice. You can actually then throw in some footwork. So if you step on the second one, one, two, into back a posse. Back again. One, two. So just give that a play. See, try and get used to where your buckler should be. A lot of people, as I keep telling a lot of you, say, oh, the buckler should be here, should be here. It needs to be wherever it needs to be. So just remember that. And let's just go on to a, a drill we were doing the other week. So we're going to do a Stramazon, a Molinetto, a Mandrito, and a Reverso. A Stramazon, a Molinetto, a Mandrito, a Reverso. Again, if you want to put some footwork into it, stand up. Mulinetto, Mandrito, Reverso. Yeah? Stand up. Bang, bang. So, there's some cutting drills for you to do. There'll be some more to follow. I hope you're missing me. 
I'm missing all of you. Are you in there? Can you hear me? You're in there somewhere, aren't you? Yes. Mm -hmm.